In this lesson, we are going to find equations of hyperbolas. Let us recall that the equation of a hyperbola centered at HK is given by this one. Let us find the equation of the hyperbola having one vertex at 0, 2 and foci at 0, negative 3 and 0, 3. First, let us plot the points that were given to us. We have the vertex 0, 2. And your foci are at 0, 3 and 0, negative 3. Since our foci are these two points, the midpoint of this line segment is the center. So therefore, our center is 0, 0. What else can we get from this one? Our hyperbola is opening upwards and downwards. Therefore, the equation of our hyperbola starts with y, since this is a vertical hyperbola. So far, we have y squared over a squared minus x squared over b squared is equal to 1. All we have to do is to find the values of a and b. But we can get the values of a and c from our graph. A is the distance of your vertex from your center, so therefore our a is 2. And the foci are both C units away from the center. And this is equal to 3. So therefore, that is our C. Therefore, we have A to be equal to 2. And C is equal to 3. How do we get our B? Recall that B squared is equal to C squared minus A squared. So therefore, that's 9 minus 4. This is equal to 5. So therefore, the equation of our hyperbola is y squared over a squared, which is 4, minus x squared over b squared, which is 5. This must be equal to 1. Next, let us find the equation of the hyperbola with center at 1, negative 2, 1 focus at 4, negative 2, and 1 vertex at 3, negative 2. Let us plot the points that were given to us. Our center is at 1, negative 2. 1 focus at 4, negative 2, let's call this F1, and 1 vertex at 3, negative 2, so let's call that V1. From here, we can conclude that our hyperbola opens sidewards. Our center is at 1, negative 2, and since our hyperbola opens sidewards, we start with X. So, so far, we have X minus 1 squared over a squared minus y plus 2 squared over b squared is equal to 1. Let us determine the values of a and b. Again, our a is a distance of your vertex from your center. So from here, our a is equal to 2. And our c is equal to 4 minus 1. So that's 3. We now get b squared from the values of a and c. b squared is c squared minus a squared, so therefore this is equal to 5. Hence, our equation is x minus 1 squared over 4 minus y plus 2 squared over b squared, which is 5. This is equal to 1. For our next example, we're given a hyperbola with center at Negative 1, 2, 1 focus at negative 1, 4, and 1 vertex at negative 1, 7. Again, let us plot our points. Our center is negative 1, 2. 1 focus is at 1, negative 4. Let's call this F1, 1 vertex at negative 1, 7. Based from our graph, we can get the value of A. That's the... Distance of your vertex from the center, your A, is equal to 5, 7 minus 2. And C is the distance of your focus from the center. This distance here is 2 minus negative 4. So therefore, our C is equal to 6. So hence, let me just write down what we had so far. We, our center is negative 1, 2. A is 5 and C is 6. Again, our B squared is equal to 
c squared minus 8 squared. So that's 36 minus 25, which is equal to 11. What is the opening of our hyperbola? Our transverse axis here is a vertical axis. So therefore, we start with the variable y. So it's y minus k squared over our a squared is 25 minus x minus negative 1 squared over b squared, which is 11. Again, when we are looking for the equation of our hyperbola, all we have to do is to get the center and the constants a, b, and c. Next, let us find the equation of the hyperbola where the endpoints of transverse axis are 0, 4, and negative 4, 4. Endpoints of conjugate axis are negative 2, 7, and negative 2, 1. Take note that this point 0, 4, and negative 4, 4 are just the vertices of your hyperbola. I have here the points 0, 4, let's call this V1, and V2. What can we get from here? We can get our center. The center is just the midpoint of this line segment. And what is this mid midpoint? This is of length 4, so therefore our center occurs at negative 2, 4. Next, we want to look for A, B, and C. We can get the value of A from this. That's the distance of your vertex and your center. So this is equal to 2. That's your A. How can we get B e and C? We're given that the endpoints of the conjugate axis are negative 2, 7 and negative 2, 1. Let's say that this is 1. Take note that these endpoints are just B units away from your center. So we get here that B is 7 minus 4. So that's equal to 3. There's no need to solve for C because we already have everything that we need. A center, A and B. We just have to know whether this is a vertical or a horizontal hyperbola. However, our transverse axis here is a horizontal line. So therefore, our hyperbola is opening sideward. So therefore, where do we start? Do we start with X or do we start with Y? We start with X. The equation of our hyperbola is x minus negative 2 over a squared minus y minus 4 squared all over b squared. For our last example, let us find the equation of the hyperbola whose vertices are 0, 24 and 0, negative 24. The asymptotes are 12x plus 5y equals 0 and 12x minus 5y equals 0. Let us plot the points. Our vertices are 0, 24 and 0, negative 24. Which means that our center is again the origin. What can we get from this? We get that our A is equal to 24. What else? We are given the asymptotes of our hyperbola. What is the equation of the asymptote of a hyperbola centered at 0, 0? Its form is y is equal to a over bx plus or minus. How do I know that I am starting with a? Take note that our hyperbola is a vertical hyperbola. So therefore, our equation starts with y. We have y squared over a squared minus x squared over b squared is equal to 1. Therefore, the equation of your asymptote is equal to the constant under y, that's a over b times x. If we write this in slope intercept form we get that y is equal to plus or minus 12 over 5x which means that this a over b here must be equal to the slope 
12 over 5. However, we already know that our A is 24. Therefore, this one means that B is equal to 10. Hence, our hyperbola is Y squared over A squared. Our A is 24. So, that's 576, 24 squared minus x squared over b squared. So this is 10 squared, so that's 100.